I'm not saying that. Isn't there a glitch between what is actually happening and the nature of what we have in our bodies? I think that's probably the conflict that we're having right now. Glitch in what way? In the sense that women don't feel like they need men in the most physical sense, we, perhaps yeah, like right. naturally. It's, it's very interesting. Women don't feel like they need men in a physical sense because life is soft. But it's mm. but it's but it's bullshit, and it's bullshit because you still need men by proxy. One and two, the second life gets difficult, you very quickly you very quickly learn how much you need men. But women will go, "I'm an independent. I don't need no man because I have an OnlyFans and men pay my OnlyFans. And if anyone comes up to me, I'll call a male police officer. I don't need men. Shut up, you fucking idiot. Of course you do. Mm. You just named your whole life is based on fucking men. The road you're driving on was paved by." A man. The house you're living in was built by a man. The car you're driving was, was designed by a man. Your whole life depends on men. And the second anything bad were to happen to you, the second you were physically threatened, or times were to get hard, or war were to start, or famine, or riots, the first thing you do is find a big strong man, shit yourself, and throw the feminism out the window. Mm. Feminism goes out the fucking window the second that the snow needs shoveling, or there's a fucking broken down car, or the tire needs changing. Then all that crap vanishes. It's garbage. And this is the actual, the very interesting thing. I'll make a point here, which is going to get me canceled it again, but I don't give a fuck. But, but, <laughs> but this is the point. Feminism in and of itself can't be defended. Any idea, the point of an idea is that it can be defended by the people who believe in it. This has been the whole point of war since the dawn of time. It doesn't matter if it was the Christians against the Hindus. It doesn't matter if it was the Germans against the French. There were people who had ideas and ideologies, and they are prepared to fight each other to defend their ideology. Feminism is an ideology which cannot be defended by feminists. The only people who could defend feminism are the men who subscribe to the garbage. If, you, if all the feminists were to get in a, in, a, in a line and say, we want feminism, and the conservative men were to get in a line, you would learn very quickly it's bullshit. I had a friend in Afghanistan when Taliban kicked America out, and he told me, the Americans were, tell, were telling the girls they could go to school. So they built all these girls' schools, and they put the Afghanistani defense forces there, and they get funded the Afghanistani defense forces to, to, to protect these schools. You had American satellites. You had night vision goggles. Taliban were afraid to attack. America leaves. Now you have Afghani defense forces. They're basically blind. They don't have satellites anymore. They don't have, don't have uh, night vision, whatever. So now it's a real war. The men are standing next to this girls' school. The Taliban are coming. You're some dude. You're standing there, and you're looking at this girls' school going, I don't really give a fuck if girls go to school. Bounce. And you just and you didn't fight. So that's why they all gave up and Taliban took over so quickly. And when I said this, the girls like, yeah, they should have fought for us, feminism. The, why don't the women fight? Can I ask? Oh, wait, the women can't defend their own fucking idea. You need men to defend feminism. So that's why the whole thing is stupid. Because <laughs> so, the second men don't defend it, it does it just fails as a fucking ideology. It's garbage. May I tell you something now? So this is the thing. This is when we assume that women perhaps don't have the physical or even mental ability to go to assume. a war. Assume. Wait, wait, wait. Because this is the thing. For example, in Ukraine, a lot of women took up arms. And in fact, I'm Angolan. Wait, wait. I'm Angolan. Wait, wait, I'm Angolan. And don't lie listen, to the people at home. Wait, no worries. I'll talk about Never. my personal you story. Go to war? You no, fight wait, the let lines? me tell you. Let me tell you something. This is the thing. I think it's also really <laughs> like silly to assume that, for example, a woman, because she didn't go to school, she'll not be as intelligent as a man. Therefore, naturally, a woman is not intelligent. No, it doesn't make sense. If we're now starting to normalize equality and we want to put everybody in the forefront, give a woman a Who's gun. Who's normalizing equality? Well, that's what, what people are wanting. Then that, that's people the case. Like who? Let me tell you, Who auntie, wants to normalize let, equality? People People like, oh, feminists. Who no, else wants to? I want, well, actually, no equality. I want respect. That's really no, all I want. What's stopping you from getting respect? Exactly. No, no, I get respect. I, I, get respect. Get respect. I get respect. I get respect. So That's what I want. That's what I like. Respect. What I think is... You don't know what you want. I'll tell you what I you want. You don't know what you want. You want I, equality. As a woman, I carry myself differently. I actually hold the things that I have done in the fight side for. I hold it. That's why when you speak to me, I don't move different. I move different to many of the girls. That's why when you talk to me and you argue with me, I, I don't, don't take it. You do sometimes. And I'll tell you something. A lot of women may have the accolade to be somebody but they are uncomfortable to own that and the reason why then I would like to ask you for example um, I do need a, woman, a man for example to you know procreate but other than that I'm quite strong and I would find things I would find a way to protect myself differently if, with that mentality Denava. what would be Denava, the man that would be for me then Denava, Denava what would you do if one of these security guards broke into your door <laughs> what would I do? <laughs> okay, you, I'll tell what you. What would you do? What would One, you do? No, no, seriously, she's, a, she's, she's a feminist. I'll, I'll she's tell a feminist. you. No, I'm not a she feminist. She was shit and I'm, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a feminist. I'm, I'm a bit smarter. <laughs> Okay, Either okay. I play These dead, one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, they see you're not dead. Uh, it's okay. They, they no, I'd be breathing. like this. And then if not, maybe I would kind of like be very gentle and comply to find a way to get out okay, of it. So if they want to come and an, kill me, but let's make an there's not much point. that many people but can do. But let's make an important point. You're talking about equality equaling respect. The way you get respect as a woman is by being feminine. There's nothing... Uh, we can be equal and very, very different. I'm not saying that when there's not 
equality, but you've confused equality with the same. You can be equal Equity. with completely different things. You can have a bishop and a knight on a chessboard. They're equal in terms of points, but they do different things, right? Mm -hmm. A woman can have equal respect to a man if she is very good at being a woman, and a man gets respect for being very good at being a man. When a woman decides she wants to act like a man or a man wants to act like a woman, that's where it all gets fucked up. We try to pretend yes. it's all the same. It's not the same. Men and women are good at different things. We have different strengths, different weaknesses. There's nothing wrong with accepting that. There's nothing wrong with saying, I'm a woman, I'm good at X, he's a man, he's good at Y. Then we work together as a team, we have a beautiful family, we're happy forever. It's only confused where you have women who sit and go, no, because in the name of equality, we can fight and work. There's no fucking women on the front line in Ukraine. That is psyop bullshit. They put some chick there dancing around doing Pokemon <laughs> dances to try and convince men to yeah, go fucking die in a ditch. It's garbage. If you go to the front line of Ukraine right now, you do not see women in their makeup and their manicures. You see fucking men in the freezing cold dying. You know where the women are? Dubai. Chilling. That's where the women are. So mm. to sit and pretend that women are just as capable physically as men is a fucking lie. It's delusion. To send that you're as strong as men is delusion. You are good no at way. other things. You're better than men at a lot of things, but it's not the physical world. And the unfortunate reality about life, this is what we're saying when I was saying earlier that feminism goes out the window when things get hard. The harder the world gets, it, the, it, the closer it gets to the baseline of humanity, the unfortunate baseline of, rea of, re of humanity is violence. Yeah. That's what happens when if of all the electricity were to go out and all the police were to quit, this would become a violent place very quickly and there would be fucking zero feminists left. Zero. You would all need <laughs> men. That's the bottom line of reality. That's the bottom line. So you have to yes. understand as a woman and say, okay, no I need a man who's good at being a man. But no but, one's saying but, that we don't need men in society. Of course we do. We're talking about relationships. Yeah, you're strong. But the thing is, I can live my life as a woman and not need a man. What's a woman? Uh, <laughs> I, um, oh, Pearl, stop like, it. Like in my in my day to day life, I don't need a man to fix my car. I'll just go to the mechanic. But listen, right? I don't yeah. But is the mechanic a man but, or a woman? No, no. I'm saying yes, we need men in society, but in relationships, the only reason I actually need you is because I want you. I don't actually need you. Do you know what? I, have I, want, I need I need you to procreate. Yes, I agree. But the things I don't need you in my day to day life. What if, what if someone, but wait, what, wait. What if someone breaks into your house? I'll just call the police. Okay, what if they don't come? What if it, the average in, Play in, the US, in the US it takes like fifteen <laughs> and give them everything. In, in the fifth in, in the US it takes like fifteen that minutes is, for them to get there. But that's not realistic. What? That okay, doesn't okay, happen no, okay, on okay, a day-to-day okay, okay, okay. life. These wow. two guys in your in your house. What are you doing? But that's not realistic. I've not had any man break into my house on no, a day-to-day. No, it doesn't the happen. Point, the point is. So let's be realistic I know, I know what now. I, I know what you're saying, but the the point is this. The point is. When we're talking about feminism as a whole, feminism as a whole demonizes men. And you just said, you just sat and said, besides procreation, I don't need a man in my life. I can go to a male mechanic or call a male police officer. They're men. So it's it, in it's, society, it, so, you yeah, are needed. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Okay. Of so, course, so, so, we of, need you. Of course. So you're talking about being with a man because you want to. So yeah. my, my question to you is, why would you want to be with a man? Why would a man want to be with you? Because they're sexy. Like, I feel like because of the <laughs> community. No, 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 guys, and can we just talk about men? Sorry, I love men. No, I love dick, We don't okay? sound like it, but it's not all about dick. What I'm trying to say is no, that uh, in mm. a good relationship, right, one that works, there's blue jobs and there's pink jobs. <laughs> right, and that's the problem that women have got. Oh, gee, they don't want to be knows. doing no pink jobs. But that's not you know what, what I mean? we're talking I don't about. We're, we're, talking talking about. we're talking about relationships. Why do you need a man in a relationship? Because you want a partner. What, what, about, what, 